Hey guys, I get a ton of Primavera P6 questions from people all over the world. So here's one from a recent members only webinar that we did at plantacademy.com. It's pretty relevant and I thought I'd share it with you. Check it out. Bless you. Okay, let's go back to the leveler. Yeah, leveler is always a hot topic. On the activity leveler, you said that once you schedule the project after having leveled it, you will lose the changes. Well, if you snap a shot of the project, you can add it as a baseline and then look at the changes it made. Hey, that's a smart idea. I had never thought of that, to be honest. Yes, you could snap it. You could run the leveler, snap it as a baseline. Um, that certainly works. You know, you know what else? There's a setting in the in the scheduler. In here, you can say level resources during scheduling. So what it'll do is it'll it'll schedule and then level the resources and then show you the results. So it's always running both scheduling and leveling every time you schedule. And that's that's a way to sort of capture it as well. But again, there's no logic like there's no logic keeping that leveling in place, which is something that I don't like and most other uh, you know CPM schedulers don't like. We like to have that logic that fixes those things there. But that's a good idea. You could capture the changes. Um, there's one other thing you can do to capture to figure out what what the leveler did. I think there's a leveler log. Let's let's just double check here. Yeah, so there's a leveler log in the scheduler. So if we level and then open the schedule log on the other screen. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So there's leveling stuff at the bottom, I think. Yeah. So here activities that cannot be leveled activities delayed due to level to resource leveling. But again, it's not easy to decipher what this thing is. So I think this is it activities delayed due to predecessor delay. So it moved these 20 activities, but it doesn't tell you where it moved them or anything. It just says it delayed them. So, you know, yes, I, I, I like your idea of using the, uh, of using a baseline. That's a good idea. Hey, it's Michael again. I really hope you found this video helpful. And just a quick reminder to let you know that we have some amazing Primavera P6 courses at plantacademy.com. And we offer full support for those who take courses with us. So we're here to help you answer your questions, and let you succeed with Primavera P6.